afternoon guys this is mark with off-grid homesteaders and in today's video we're going to be cultivating the garden it is fall time we've already got all the produce out of it um, it's october here on the blue ridge beautiful fall day it's the first year of having the garden it done it done pretty well for the first year so we're quite happy with the produce that came out of it so we're going to be sowing some winter wheat and uh, for next spring so if you want to uh, see what goes on with this come along for the journey thanks So guys, we're gonna start off with bush hogging first because uh, that adds tillage to the garden. Uh, me and little Johnny, little Johnny's been a long thing coming with me and does a lot of work for us. Makes it a, a lot of hard work, a lot easier for sure. So uh, we're gonna start off with bush hogging, then we're gonna plow it, and then we're gonna till it. And go through the process. The reason we're bush hogging and putting the tillage back into the garden is because it'll add compost to the soil. Being since our first year with this, we took a lot of overburden off the land, so we want to put them nutrients and, and stuff back into the soil. So. Right, guys so as you can see we got the bush hogging done um, didn't take long to do that but we had to uh, pick a lot of rocks we'll be picking rocks out of this garden probably till the day I die that's part of uh, living in the Blue Ridge we got rocky ground but it'll be all right for the soil so um, next we're gonna try to plow it and then we got guys there is a little bit of method to the madness here the reason i'm cutting through from the top down on this garden is because once i make one furrow pass i can set one side of the tractor into that furrow so it kind of keeps my tractor level it's got a short wheelbase so it's never tipped over on the end but i don't want it to tip over so make sure you got your root system up make sure it's bound Make sure safety is, you have a seatbelt on in case it does go over the wall here and stay on the track. All right, guys, so we got the garden all plowed up. It's ready to cultivate with the tiller. But before I take the plow off the tractor, we had built a uh, drainage ditch doing the uh, fact that our land is on a hill and the garden's kind of at the bottom. So earlier this spring, we had made a drainage ditch up from the solar panels down this way. And uh, all the rock that we used to help the water run off came from the garden. This has all been picked out of the garden on both ends. But this spring, this summer, when we got the summer rains for the garden, this part of the ditch over here was water was just running off over the edge into the garden. So before I take the plow off, I'm just going to run one furrow strip down through this ditch, let the winter rains just take it over, and then next spring we'll uh, 
come back and smooth it back off again in the springtime. y'all it's me again just getting back to uh got the tiller hooked up to the little johnny here this is a 1025 r i'm going to explain this tractor for just a minute um got the tiller got the plow got the uh, bush hog fork front end loader it's a little versatile tractor i mean it's great for the winter times it's great to get in tight spaces you know you're not going to lift a whole dump truck full of stone or dirt with that bucket but it sure makes a light, light work when it comes to moving logs or rocks or anything of that nature. It's easier to put it in a bucket than it is a wheelbarrow or a shovel. So I've had this, I, I bought it with 84 hours and it's got 350 hours on it now. I've, I've used it, but I'm a firm believer as long as you do maintenance and, and do the proper maintaining of the bearings and the oil lube and transmission, hydraulic fluid and all that, it, it'll last a long time. So, Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and uh, start cultivating the garden. Um, all the silage has been turned over and we're going to go ahead and till all that in. The purpose for that is, is it helps aerate the soil. That, that, that'll turn into compost and that'll mulch up and over time that'll, that'll help make that soil nice and fertile and, and it'll keep it to where it's uh, got a lot of texture to it it's it, it turning into fine powder plus it'll add some good nutrients back into the soil um, at the beginning of the video I stated we're going to plant winter wheat and y'all may be one wanting to know why why we're going to be planting winter wheat, winter wheat is because of the fact that uh, one helps with the erosion over the winter time it'll keep the uh, rain waters from washing out the garden so on and so forth I wanted to till that tillage in to the roots of the uh, winter wheat will help grow deeper into that soil help aerate it and then um, number three is you know uh, times is the way it is it's 2022 of October so um, in the spring we'll be out here cutting the wheat tops off and we're gonna grind those down into wheat berries or grind it down into wheat flour and we'll, we'll freeze it so um, that's why we're doing the, with the winter wheat at this time guys so as you can see it's been cultivated you can see the, the rest of the remnants of what we bush hogged it's been allowed to till the in and so on and so forth that tiller does a real good job and you can see this stuff's just like just like fine powder I mean it'll be good we're not gonna plant today I'm gonna put some fertilizer in here once we put some fertilizer in probably let it get a little rain on it and then uh, just do a dusting with the uh, tiller one more time before we plant but let's call for rain tomorrow 50% chance of rain so we're not gonna plant today I'm gonna go ahead and fertilize and uh, we'll go from there all right guys we're back uh, it's been about a week a little over a week and a half more hard across I told you in the last episode that you know, we're gonna go ahead and sow some fertilizer down we put the fertilizer down got some rain on it had four days of hard cross so we got a window of opportunity So we got it uh, cultivated over again after we put the fertilizer in. The fertilizer that we put in was uh, triple 17. Um, it's about what the market's gonna allow. That's what I found. Y'all know with the uh, fertilizer, Russia makes all it. So it was hard to find on the shelves. So we took what we got. So we got triple 17 in here. It's been in here, like I said, for about a week. Got it cultivated over. 
and uh, I tried it with the hoe and I didn't like doing it with the hoe making rows so I just put the furrow plow back on and uh, let it do with the furrow plow and then we'll just take a uh, hard rake and kind of smooth it back out just a little bit though you don't want it too deep you want to plant these around an inch inch and a half this is this is a little deep yet considering if this is ground level but if we take a rake and run a rake across this it'll smooth that row in and then what the overburden you got will cover that up and that's that's sitting about where you want to sit inch inch and a half deep um so no further ado we're gonna go ahead and finish starting this row we're gonna put some water in it and uh put the seeds down in there and then we'll do the other half of the garden and get it finished up today so all right guys we're back uh we're starting to spread some seed in the garden and so i'm gonna show you in just a minute it, it's different sowing it by hand um you're not getting it exactly inch inch and a half two inches apart i know for some of you big farmers out there with the big planters i know you got it precise but this is garden doing and this is gardening of 2022 so um this is how we're doing it by hand and so we can grind this up next spring for wheat flour and have some extra stuff in the refrigerator so um, i'll show you what the rows look like and uh what kind of seed we've been putting into them and as you can see right in here this is going to be the wheat the wheat berries which is just regular white wheat winter wheat and uh just putting it in the rows you can see we're kind of putting it in by hand and it's sporadic here and there you can also broadcast it I didn't want to broadcast it because I want to be able to walk through a little bit in the spring when I go to harvest it easier than just walking through a bunch of of uh, wheat and working my way through it. So I'll just do it this way. So far we've got two rows working on the third and fourth row being planted and then uh, we're going to cover it up and um, put some water on it and then do the other half. So. All right, guys, as you can see, uh, we got the rows in, we got it cultivated. We put the seed in and covered it back up. We've done it with the tractor. Good old hard yard rake. As you can see, I said in the beginning of the video, I'll probably be picking rocks till the day I die out of this garden. That's just more rock that we every, every time we go through it, we get that much probably two more buckets full every time it seems like so um yeah it's in now we're gonna need to do is we're gonna put some water on it and i'm glad we got it in it's just before dark so um a little bit of i guess y'all may be wondering why or anything of that nature why we're doing this is because of the fact um i've always had the motto of be prepared and that's why we're growing. We grow our own produce, and we, now we're growing winter wheat so we can grind it up for uh, wheat flour and, and uh, use it for our cereals and so on and so forth. So, um, but a little bit about why we're, that's why we're doing it is for the fact that, you know, we have things coming in the future that we don't know about, so um, we're just kind of getting prepared, you know. Boy Scout motto is always be prepared, so that's what we're planning on doing is just preparing ourselves for whatever may come about. So we'll freeze this and put it in the freezers along with some uh, squirrels and deer meat and rabbit and have a good old time with it. So uh, if y'all want to follow up in the spring, 
I'll do a couple videos throughout maybe the uh, early spring showing it sprouting and coming up and then we'll do another video when it comes to harvest time on it. So if you guys like this video, please subscribe, follow me on uh, YouTube and uh, we'll make some more.